though there's even more news that we didn't get a chance to get to in Orbit 10.35, although you did allude to this in the main show. A little bit. And then uh, made everyone wait for it. So You're welcome, it's Internet. all yours now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll be talking about Strato Launch, which is, uh, they got some pretty cool stuff going on. What you're looking at are six Pratt & Whitney PW4056. I, I wanted to say Pratt and Whitney rocket dine after that. Oh. Uh, uh, turbofan jet engines uh, of the carrier aircraft. So this is think of this like a spaceship two, but much, much, much bigger. The company said that the engines were put through a series of tests. They started them one at a time and then allowed them to idle. Now, uh, it didn't sound like they actually brought them up to full thrust yet. That's due to happen over the next few months. Next up, they're going to continue engine tests and start taxi tests. Look how cool that is! They got six of those things on this jumbo 747 that has been sliced in half. The Strato Launch carrier aircraft has a wingspan of 117 meters, making it the largest span of any aircraft in the world. It weighs over 225,000 kilograms empty and nearly 340,000 kilograms when fully fueled. It can carry payloads of nearly 250,000 kilograms. Now, initially, this carrier aircraft will loft ATK's Pegasus XL rocket, but it could have the capability to lift three of those rockets at the same time. That first flight could happen as early as 2019. Now, with Orbital ATK looking to be purchased by Northrop Grumman, it would bring that family of rockets in-house. Look at how huge that thing is. It's just, it's just ginormous. <laughs> and 20, uh, in 2007, Northrop Grumman purchased scaled composites outright, and they had previously owned 40% of the company. So at this point, uh, Northrop Grumman is going to own scaled composites for that part of it. Orbital ATK can make the rockets that go on that thing. I mean, it's going to be a really cool vertical integrated uh, structure, all of which we covered in this uh, last week's news. Perfect. Well, thank you, Ben. On Orbit 10.35, Jared had a great interview with Skylab astronaut Jerry Carr. And if you're interested in this, that, or just about anything space, feel free to join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.